It's good to finally have this SCP-3008 video out. I wonder how well it'll do. Probably not that great, whatever, I'll check back in the morning. What the actual fu- Fader. I'm Volton from Voltage Productions. And... Okay, wow, that's a lot of you now. And that's a lot of views. Wow, I was not expecting the 100 days video to be that successful. So you guys might be wondering, what is this? Well, this is just a video in, uh, this is gonna be a 50 days video, not 100 days one. Sorry, I don't have time to do a full 100 days. And we're gonna be doing the Shattered Reality game mode from SP3008. Now, see this time around, I knew I'd have to go in with kind of a plan. Because, well, you know, in a 100 days video, I ran out of ideas like half the time. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I kept running out of ideas, and when, in one of the final days, I was just running around because I didn't have anything to do. So yeah, I need to go in for some project ideas this time. And I have a few, so let's take a look at those. The first one of interest that we're going to be focusing on in these 50 days is going to be this one, where we build our base. And that's where I began day one. So for this 50 days, I actually noted down everything significant that I did on, on all these days. So, for day one, I just looked around today, and I was able to find some food courts too. Thing is, grabbing all the food is kind of a pain in the ass, because of how shattered reality worlds generate. Yeah, it's, this is going to be a problem for the entire 50 days. As we start day two, I should probably mention that getting around in shattered reality is not easy. Oftentimes, I had to build bridges just to get to places. So yeah, it is rough. Anyway, as for what I actually did on day two, I was able to find a very interesting pallet area, and thus I was able to begin constructing my base. I had this base idea in mind, so I decided to go with it. It's gonna be a floating base. On day 3 and 4, I was I just continued building my base. Supposedly on day 4 I was also looking for resources, but uh... Yeah, I couldn't find any of that in the footage, so I guess I was going crazy or something on day 4. Anyway, on day 5, I continued looking for resources. Because apparently I was looking for those on day 4, even though I really don't remember it. So on days 6, 7, and 8, all I did was continue building up the base. Day 9. In my notes, I wrote down that uh, getting around is hell. And judging by the footage on screen, yeah, I can uh, I can tell. That looks very tedious. Anyway, I grabbed some more food also and can, can also continue building up my base. Alright, on day 10, I didn't really do anything too special. I just continued building up the base. And that's just not, not much to really do in 3008, other than just build up your base. As far as I'm concerned, trying to remember back to when I was recording this, building a base took the longest out of all of these, so that's why it was the main thing I focused on in the first 10 days. And it's probably going to be the same for the next 10 days as well. By day 11, I knew the area I was working in, so I was able to get back and forth between my base and the food area where I also got more food today much easier. Other than that, I just continued building up my base. I should probably explain the design of it too. The idea for this base is pretty simple. First, what I'm going to do is make a lower bowl there to serve as a foundation. We're also going to flip this later and put it on top. Then there's going to be some normal walls in between. And it forms this uh, disc shape, so I guess it means I made a UFO. Yeah, we'll call it the UFO base. Alright, back to actually, you know, working on the base. I finished making that weird bowl shape for the bottom, so we still have that middle and top section to work on. Anyway, I noted that while I was recording this day, I got up to get a snack, and I nearly woke up my fat pug. This is him, by the way. His name is Max. He's very cute. Okay, so, for from days 13 to 20, it was super interesting, okay? Like, super ultra interesting. You won't believe how interesting it was. Okay, okay. So, from days 13 to 20, all I did was build up my base. Okay, so it's we've nearly spent half the challenge just building up the base. But don't worry, we are going to do other stuff in this challenge. It's just going to, uh, it's probably just not going to be as cool. On day 21, I finally finished building the disc itself. Or no, the UFO. And so with that, on day 22, I was able to begin furnishing. Listen, I know we've been focusing on the base for literally half the challenge now, but... Don't worry, we're, we're getting into some of the other stuff I, I have in mind soon. So, uh, day 23. You know how sometimes a game decides it wants to fuck with you? You know, kind of like Minecraft cave noises? Oh! <laughs> well, yeah, it decided to do that to me on day 23. I'm not gonna lie. That, uh, 
that kind of gave me a little bit of a mini heart attack. Anyway, later that day, I found a big wooden box, you know, the heavy one, that takes ages to pick up. I knew I wasn't going to get the achievement for picking it up since I was also on a private server this time, and also not on the main game, but nonetheless, I still wanted to have a big wooden box inside my base, so I picked it up. To start off day 24, I was able to finally pick up the box, and I was able to bring it back to my base. However, I should probably note something. Shy Reality runs on version 2.6 of 3008. The current version is 2.72. It's not being updated anymore. And in this version of the game, the energy works differently. There's no hunger bar, it's just energy. And, well, that bar got really low. Thankfully, I didn't starve, but I got very close. Day 25, we're halfway there. The furnishing of the house is getting close to completion. But at this point, I don't think I really need to focus on that as much. And I can just work on other stuff at the base. Day 26, we're starting on a new project attached to the base right now, actually. I decided to call it the HIGHWAY TO HELL project. But the nickname for it is... Uh... Damn, what was the nickname I had for it? Uh, let me check my notes. Oh yeah. The nickname for it was, uh, Spirit Airlines. I wonder if any of my friends can, uh, confirm that. No, well, let me ask one. Hmm, the more you know. For days 27 and 28, I worked on the highway to hell. Essentially what this build was, was it was just a bridge that took you over to a spot in the void where there was nothing to save you from your fall. And then if you wanted to, you could jump down into it. Hence why it's called the highway to hell. And way back to what we were doing before. On day 29, the bridge was actually in place by now, but we needed to get all the railings in because I was not going to have a bridge without railings. That would look hideous even if I'm never going to be coming back to the save file ever again because there are no save files. This was all done one take by the way, this entire playthrough. On day 30 it was the same thing, I was, I was handling more railings than your- We're 60% of the way through the challenge and we've only been focusing on the base. Don't worry, by day 32 we'll start focusing on some other projects. Just hold on for now, okay? Just doing more railings, tis all. It took the rest of day 32 but the railings are finally done. We're going to start the actual entrance to hell tomorrow. On day 33, I actually began working on the entrance to the highway to hell. Obviously, you gotta go down in style. The highway to hell is now complete. It's now time to finally move on to another project. We're gonna be moving on to this one, where the general basis is, can I get to the top of any of these pillars? What would a view be like? Well, that's why I wanted to make it one of my projects. I wanted to know what it looks like from up top. So on day 35, I found a pillar near the highway to hell dive that I decided that I wanted to climb. But I ended up missing a jump, and I died. Thankfully, I was able to quickly get back, and I began climbing the pillar by the end of the day. Day 36, I was able to get to top the pillar. Once I was up there, I took some screenshots, looked around, and then climbed back down. Day 37, I kind of spent it wondering what to do. Because, believe it or not, I didn't really have this t entirely planned out. But, I was able to come up with something. I called it, the Compass Project. Here, let me explain it real quick. So, what the Compass Project is, is essentially just this. I go around to each corner of the map, and I leave a waypoint marking that I was there, labeling each corner with a waypoint. And then, once that's all done, I return home. Sounds simple, right? Well, you're, you're kinda right. It's going to be taking me a while. In fact, we're gonna be doing this for almost the rest of the challenge, so... I guess I gotta make all this traveling footage I have left uh, interesting. And you know what? We got a good start, we've already found the first corner. This is great. Tag 39 Deutsch und ich wander. Man, I'm going so crazy surviving out here in this infinite void that I'm starting to speak German. Anyway, although day 40 was mostly traveling, near the end of it we were able to find corner 2. At this point, we only have two main projects left, and one of them is going to be taking up the rest of, almost the rest of the video actually, that being the compass project. But don't worry, the last one's going to be pretty small, and you know what? I'm gonna be honest, I was going kinda of crazy when the last one happened, but, but whatever. Anyway, we have a lot more traveling to do to fully finish the Compass project, so let's get back to it. So for the next few days, there's not really too much interesting to say because, you know, the Compass project mainly just include walking around. So I think we're just gonna make this part quick. That being said, days 41 and 42 were the exact same thing, traveling. Day 43, we were able to find a third corner. Trust me though, I am cutting out all the traveling footage because holy crap, it takes a long, long time. Day 44, guess what? 
traveling. Day 45, we did it, we reached the fourth corner. Thus meaning that the compass project is now complete. However, we still have to get back to base. So day 46, we're just traveling back now. I think since I have so much traveling footage, I may as well just reveal that uh, I thought about doing the compass project back in the original 100 days video. But you know what, I'm glad I didn't because that would not have lasted long at all. It would not have been nearly as impressive as it was in this challenge because of how hard it is to get around here. Day 47, we were able to get home. Amazing. I began looking for some pallets for the final project of the video, and then I fell to my death. Great. So, after all our trials and tribulations, what's the final project for this video? And this may surprise you, but a date. Sometime earlier, I was able to find a pingvin. I don't remember when, and I don't really care to look through the footage. So, I was like, you know what? I've already gone crazy enough. Why don't I go on a date with Pingvin? Day 48. I was spending the entire day preparing for this uh, date of sorts. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I went a bit crazy at this point. Day 49 was the final day before, well, you know, the big day. So I mainly spent it just kind of looking around, taking some screenshots, and also some last minute preparations. Day 50, let's go! Alright, it's time for a date. So, yeah, on day 50, we went on the date. Uh, well, how, how did it go in my notes here, okay, well, Monday started good. Date called me ugly. I murdered date. Huh. I guess I did go crazy. Well, anyway, with nothing really left to do at that point, I decided that the last thing I really had to do now in this playthrough was travel through the highway to hell. Well everyone, thank you guys so much for watching this SCP-3008 video. So, if you want to know what's next, as for over 3008 videos, if you guys want to see a part 2 to this, where I go to day 100, then this video needs 100 likes. That may seem like a lot, and yeah, there is a reason why it's a lot. I don't want to have to do this again. I have some over 3008 content in mind, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again. I also want to finish editing Flat World Episode 4. It's kind of been a while since I published Episode 3. Anyway, I don't really have anything else to say. This is Volton from Voltage Productions, signing off.